Hey friends, so yesterday in my video on the garage, I told you I had this other project coming up that I was excited about. Well, let me show it to you. It's a project Jeep. Yeah, it's got a little crinkle, a wrinkle in the frame in the front, but that'll pull out. The rest of it's pretty sharp. Uh, it is a 2005 Wrangler X. And, um, you know, picked it up off of Copart. Uh, paid a little more for it than I wanted to, but I still, got, I still feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. And um, so it's got the front driver's side uh, frame is uh, kinked here. That'll, that'll have to be pulled out and reinforced. And then the frame is tw twisted a little bit. And again, that'll pull out, but um, tires are in reasonably decent shape. Um, I don't like this bumper anyway. I don't like these. So this will be a fun project. Um, the first step is, uh, and it's got, uh, it's got a 42 RLE four-speed transmission in it with a six-cylinder inline four-liter engine. Um, radiator's got some damage to it, uh, which isn't isn't unexpected. Um, it does crank, but right now without a radiator, it really isn't going to run. And even if it did, it's not going to go anywhere with a bumper embedded in the tire. So that's going to come off and it's going to get spun around, um, even if all I do is put some water in it. Um, so anyway, this is going to be my new project and all in all, I'm excited. This is going to be fun. I've wanted to own a hard door soft top with the TJ style or um, TK style hard, uh, soft top forever because when I had a YJ, the soft top was created by the devil. It was a pain in the ass to put up and down. And these are supposed to be a lot easier. So anyway, I'm going to start exploring it. I've uh, When I looked at it at the auction yard, the... Uh, door was locked, so I had a little exploring to do, and I'll be back. So on the inside, we've got uh, both airbags are popped. It's really, honestly, not a big deal. Um, windshield's popped. Um, door's all open. I locked that one again. Um, it's an undersized spare. Uh, passenger seat's being a little funky, but least of my worries right this second. Um, there's a bottle of bleach jammed under it. That's part of the problem got the door handle here this is uh this doesn't work on the inside um so we'll take that apart and deal with it but it's not a priority right now but we can lock and unlock the door and it closes just fine so there's really no body damage on this side and behind the windshield and that's actually pretty reassuring um so one of my projects is to get it where i can move it and then I'm going to find a body shop to pull the wrinkles out of the frame. And then we're going to start uh, building a toy Jeep, uh, which is pretty much what this is. And it's got the swing mirrors. That's good. Windshield's been down before. Uh, that's what those bolts not being painted suggests. Um, we're going to get rid of the long antenna because, yeah, those aren't car wash friendly. Uh, not that a soft top Jeep is really car wash friendly anyway. So let's look on the inside. So, you know, again, nothing magical here. Um, you know, we've got some sheet metal that's dinged up here, but even this, you know, it's, it's really not as bad as I expected. So one of my projects is going to be once I get the, the wrinkle out of the frame, um, I'm going to strip all this off and start repairing it so it'll be basically strip it down from the front forward and um, looks like it has LED headlights they're a little out of place at the moment but and it needs a new radiator but hey you know they need a new radiator after about 10 years anyway and you know one of the beautiful things is there's really no rust to speak of because this is a Texas Jeep and Texas Jeeps just don't get rust so at any rate um yeah we, we don't have any nope no rust to speak of and i i checked this before i bid on it you know um and uh yeah engine's a little oily but engine's a lot oily shouldn't have any oil on it but but i really don't think it's that big of a deal and if it is we'll deal with it so 
thanks for watching. I hope, uh, make sure to subscribe. I um, put things in my, uh, I use playlists to organize my videos, so there'll definitely be a Jeep project playlist. And we'll be posting more videos on it.